Hi, this is Inspired RC and welcome to the channel. Today guys, I'm just getting the x Max ready for a, a bashing session and I've got a mod that arrived with me a few days ago and I've just not had a chance to install it. So I want to get that installed before we take this anywhere out. And guys, this mod is a must-do mod in my eyes. This is it here. Let's get it opened. It's called a center drive shaft tunnel. And guys, it's such a simple idea. I don't understand why Traxxas hasn't installed something similar already in the cars. All that is, is a piece of 3D printed plastic and it's quite hard. And it's a very, very simple idea. It slots straight over your center drive shaft. It's held in place by the center skid plate and it just stops the center drive shaft from flexing and bending out of shape so it's a quick and simple easy modification to install cost around 10 pound from ebay uk and it's a well well worth modification in my eyes guys so let's get it installed quickly and i'll show you how easy it is so let's start by taking the body off Love how simple that is. And let's get it upside down. So we're going to start by removing eight screws. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once we remove them eight screws, this whole cover should just come off straight away. Just to save time, I'm just going to use my electric drill. Guys, this is such a simple modification that it takes you probably less than a couple of minutes to do and hopefully it should save you the drive shaft from bending and making that awful clicking noise that you always hear. That's eight screws off. Should just be a case of lifting it away there we go lifting it away see how dirty that is right so this is your center drive shaft and how simple this idea is it just fits straight in the middle here and it's designed to fit in between these plastic pieces and it just sits on there and that's all it is now the idea behind it is this center drive shaft is actually supported underneath this side here and underneath this side here but there's no support in the middle here so it can flex so this is going to stop it from flexing upwards and the plastic on the X Max itself is going to stop it flexing downwards so hopefully it should keep it somewhat straight and give it some kind of protection that's all it is and then you just slide this thing back on and you can notice the shape of this is the same shape as a skid plate so it'll keep it held in place and that's it pop the screws back in we're good to go how simple and straightforward was that guys it's an absolute no-brainer so i'll be leaving a link in the description for that particular part i say it is available on ebay uk so next i've got some batteries in there i just want to make sure everything's working the steering and the lights and whatnot since I've had it out last. So let's get the remote turned on. Remote's on. Let's turn the car on. Okay, so we have got a broken fan blade. I forgot to mention that. Um, I am going to be replacing it at some point. But for now, it, it seems to be working fine for me. Just a little loud. The light, lights you can see are working on the front. Let's get the body on. There we go. Body's on. Steering's working. 
I'll show you from behind. Real lights are still working as well. And and if I just press the brake, there we go. So reverse and brake is also working. So I'm happy with that. She's ready. Let's get it out. Let's go and have some fun.